Man, this. Oh my god! I'm gonna get that one! Da 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 Man! It's, 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 it's a constant load of bullshit. Whether or not if Valorant is actually a good game is a question that's been asked for decades. It, it is probably one of the most confusing questions right next to what is the meaning of life. It's just something people cannot answer, including me. So if I had to give an exact answer to this question, it would be Valorant isn't exactly at its fullest potential yet. Valorant could be so much more. It's not a good game, but it's not a bad game either. But at the same time, the experience itself is really something. Now I want you guys to think about this for a second. Do you guys want more out of Valorant? And if so, what is it? I actually want you guys to comment your answer. I respond to comments. But I just personally feel like Valorant isn't at its peak yet. It's getting there though. Once more features get rolled out, once more agents get rolled out, and most importantly, once more customization gets rolled out, the, it, the Valorant will come to a point where it's actually an S tier game. So allow me to talk about this for a second. You know how some games just roll out more features over time that just make the game more enjoyable? I'm gonna use Rainbow Six Siege as an example. Back then, you used to be able to equip skins on your guns, and that's basically it. But over time, you were able to actually customize your operators, and eventually, you're able to slap colors and different patterns on your reticles and attachments, which just gave a lot more personality to something about having a blue red dot sight just hits differently. You get what I'm trying to say? Now, I'm not saying Valorant needs to add colored reticles and into the game but matter of fact i don't think that's even possible nobody actually touches the sights or ads system but it's small tweaks like that that would actually make the game a lot more enjoyable a good example of this would be stickers why not if you're going to copy csgo why not add stickers because why not? There's no actual disadvantages to having a sticker on your gun in Valorant. If you pay attention to any actual dev boards or, or Riot dev videos, they, they prioritize balance and making sure nothing is pay to win in the game. Which props to Riot, that's actually really good. I like that. But it's because of this that makes the game feel very bland a lot of the times. Very not customizable, I guess. Which is what where stickers come in. Imagine the Reaver Vandal, but I just slapped like a, a Katowice 2014 sticker on it. Ra Valorant if it was actually a good game. So I, kn I know what you're thinking, peep. You're just gonna spend the rest of the video talking about stickers. No, 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 no. That was purely an idea. What I'm trying to get at is the customization system needs to improve a lot in this game. Because customization is just what makes a game fun. Let's be real here. Imagine games like Fortnite or Siege or Overwatch, let's say, but the skins are just turned off. It, it would get a little bit boring after a while, wouldn't it? And that's definitely something a game like Battlefront 2 suffered from. The reason Battlefront 2 died was because it was just it was eventually neglected by its developers and because of it after you played for like 10 hours you basically experienced the entire game like you're not really missing out anymore there was no ranking system there were skins but there was only a handful of them like imagine valorant but the only skins you could have on your vandal are reaver prime and prelude to chaos yeah they're all amazing skins but like after cycling through all three of them it just gets a little repetitive that's sort of what happened with battlefront 2 so the conclusion add a Agent skins. I want to play as Omen, but blue. What if Omen was blue? That's the end of the video. Good night, guys. That's a joke. Okay, so what can we take out of everything I just rambled about? Well, like I said, Valorant's just not at its full potential yet. But let's slowly transition to what makes the game actually good or bad. We're not going to talk about the community. I think I've talked about the community one too many times. If you need a quick refresher, for every kill you get, I'll give you an ooh. Bam. Okay. Well, let's fix that. Let let's turn Valorant players red pilled. <laughs> So, can anyone just pick up Valorant? I feel like this is definitely something important to consider when talking about if Valorant is a good game. I'm gonna use Siege as an example as well. If you ask anyone who plays Siege, if I was a noob and I just wanted to pick up Rainbow Six Siege, would you recommend it? You are most likely going to get the answer, no. Because Rainbow Six Siege is too tactical and complex to pick up. Maybe you would have gotten a different answer year one or year two of Siege, but there is just too much to learn, too much to be educated about. And the only people who can enjoy Rainbow Six Siege are people People who've been playing Rainbow Six Siege consistently enough to the point where they understand all 2000 mechanics that are currently in the game. So can you pick up Valorant? If you're trying to get into Valorant, do it now because it's going to be a Rainbow Six Siege effect. I feel like two to three years from now, this game is going to be extremely difficult to pick up. I feel like the same could be said about games like Overwatch, where there's like a new agent like every couple of months, right? So if you, like I said, if you want to get into Valorant, do it now. But even after picking up Valorant, are you able to actually enjoy the game. I feel like this is definitely something that is a bit of a problem with Valorant. It's one of those games that put you in like a bit of an addictive cycle. 
I can't really describe the science and psychology behind Valorant, but it does sort of become an addictive cycle at some point. I feel like the best way to compare Valorant would be to compare to any other shooter similar to it. And think about it. What carries Valorant? The two things that really carry Valorant for me is the competitive system and the content. For when it comes to a game like Valorant, it is basically a gold mine for content. Not only is it fun, but just the overall community. Well, yeah, it can be a headache at times. You can actually meet some really chill people. But just like any other video game, there comes toxicity. So we're going to branch past that. So trying to be become a Valorant content creator is like walking on a gold mine, especially when you have access to the private beta environment, which is uh, something I'm trying to get into. It's uh, very difficult to get into, I'm not gonna lie. Which is basically the, the content creator dream. You're given access to anything before it even comes out. Obviously, if you're a content creator and you have access to this bundle before it's even out, obviously you're going to take advantage of it. So if you're trying to become a Valorant content creator, go for it. It's a lot of hard work though, trust me. I've been uploading Valorant videos for over two years and I only just recently became monetized. So stay patient. Keep your head up, kings. <laughs> As for the competitive system, it is extremely draining. Do not play it unless you're five stacking because holy mackerel, what the scallop is this rank system, bro? And that is definitely a downside to trying to get into Valorant. If you do want to rank up, it is going to be actual hell. You think you're going to hop on a comp. You think today's the day I'm going to become the best. I'm going to be immortal. And then you're stuck in silver for two years straight. You just cannot leave. And it's a lot of the times it's not even your issue. A lot of the times it's just not even your problem. It's usually factors that are outside of your control. You try to hop on comp, see if you can rank up today. And all of a sudden there's a three stack of immortal smurfs. And you have two teammates that have never played the game before. And then the other two teammates are just an e-dating couple who refuse to give any sort of comms. And then suddenly you're just in a huge depression state where you just cannot play Valorant and you can't do anything physically without vomiting over the fact that you can't rank up out of silver in Valorant. The community is usually the make or break of everything. I've said this once, I'm gonna say it again. Valorant is just the JoJo's bizarre adventure of video games. Yes, it's amazing. The concept is amazing and it's overall really fun. The, the community basically ruins it. So I wanna talk about the culture real quick. The Valorant culture really is something. You either have people that are really base and then you have really people who are very, uh, I, I don't even know what the term is for this. Can I just call it Ara Ara people? There is a solution though to avoiding these Ara Ara people and it's to avoid swift play and spike rush. These these guys kind of infested these two game modes specifically. I'm not even joking. Like every other Swift play I join, I'm going to get like a high pitched anime girl. And then, hey, what's up? Does anyone got a mic? Yeah, follow my Twitch. I only have three followers on Twitch, but trust me, I'm making it out the hood. I'm different. I have a, I have a quirky skin. I bet you've never seen anyone with a Reaver Vandal before. Blood, we have. Shut up. You ain't different. You ain't special. Like I said, I'm going to try to avoid talking about those kind of people for a second because I talk about these kind of people a lot on my channel so i don't want to get too repetitive but if i'm being honest when it comes to culture in valorant i think skin culture is pretty bad like you're not really allowed to have a taste in valorant i've had so many people just criticize me for liking certain skins and i'm just like bro if you don't like the Horizon Spectre, then you don't need to buy the Horizon Spectre. I like this skin, so I'm gonna have it on. And I've had so many, I'm not even joking. I've had so many people throw a sissy fit in my lobbies. It's over a skin that I like, like, Jesus Christ. So you need to mentally prepare yourself for that. But at the same time, you need to own up to it. If you like the most atrocious skin ever. Buy it, bro. I'm not stopping you. I'm gonna make fun of you for it, but I'm not stopping you. So, overall, the community is just a headache to be around. For every step forward, you take a step down. So, after all this rambling, where can we get at? I say, quite frankly, when it comes to Valorant being a good game, there is a lot of work to be done. And I I'm gonna repeat myself again. It's just not at its full potential yet. It's getting there, though. I feel like as they add more and more features, it's actually gonna be more enjoyable. So, do I recommend Valorant? Burn.